Methylene chloride, also called dichloromethane or DCM, is a useful organic solvent. It is a very volatile compound that has a sweet scent to it and can be used for a wide range of purposes. It's definitely recommended to have some on hand. In this video we will be separating DCM from hardware store paint stripper. Paint stripper is excellent to use as its main ingredient is DCM and has few others. The paint stripper I used was Digger's paint stripper and I used this one because according to the MSDS the major other compounds within the paint stripper are methanol and toluene which shouldn't be a problem to separate. First about 300 ml of paint stripper was added to a boiling flask and like most other paint strippers mine came in a gel form which took a while to get into the flask. This is the gel after it was added to the flask. This is the somewhat crap distillation apparatus I set up. It's basically a fractional distillation without the condenser. I didn't use a condenser because mine recently broke. While the DCM was still able to condense without the condenser, this probably led to a loss of yield and if you have a condenser on hand, it's obviously highly recommended to use it. As you can see, I have a tube connected to the vacuum takeoff, and this is because it was thought that hopefully the gaseous DCM fumes that escaped would be somewhat controlled and possibly condensed into the flask. Anyway, DCM has the lowest boiling point in the paint stripper at 39.6 C, while methanol has the second lowest at 64.7 C. It's also useful to note that DCM and methanol form an azeotrope at 93% DCM and 7% methanol. As you can see, I'm not using a thermometer, which is fine as long as you heat the mixture very slowly. Since DCM is very volatile, the apparatus was adjusted so that the collecting flask would be placed in an ice bath to limit the amount of DCM lost. The heat was then turned on starting at a very low temperature. This is what the mixture looked like after about 5 minutes of heating, and this is what the mixture looked like after about 10 minutes of heating, and this is after around 20 minutes of heating what the mixture looked like. After a while we got a steady rate of distillate coming over. The distillation was then allowed to run for about 4 hours. The distillation was considered finished and stopped when no more distillate came over and it appeared the mixture in the boiling flask, as you can see here, was simply refluxing. This is the amount of DCM I got from the distillation and it's not completely clear. This is probably because when I first started the distillation I turned the temperature too high and about 30 mils of cloudy distillate came over. The DCM was then transferred to a separatory funnel to be washed. As I mentioned before, DCM and methanol form an azeotrope, however washing the DCM with water can break it. Since DCM is immiscible with water it will form a separate layer, however methanol is miscible with water so therefore it will be extracted into the aqueous layer. Then 50 ml of distilled water was added to the funnel. The funnel was then capped, shaken and vented frequently. After this was done the funnel was placed in a clamp and the layers allowed to separate. After this, the bottom organic layer was transferred to a flask. This exact washing process was then repeated four more times. This is what the much cleaner, clearer DCM looked like after the washings. It's the bottom layer. The DCM was then filtered into a flask containing a fair amount of 3A molecular sieves. These sieves help absorb any of the water remaining from the water washings. The flask was then given a shake and allowed to sit overnight. This is what the DCM looked like after it was allowed to rest with the sieves overnight. This is the final crystal clear yield of methylene chloride. I got around 130 mils. 
The final DCM product was then filtered into a dark bottle. The DCM should be stored in a very cool location or in the fridge as it's very volatile. I kept mine in the fridge. It's advisable to check the DCM once in a while to release any of the fumes that may have been produced.